Hello, friends. This week's devotion is titled Decision Making. God is our Savior in all things, even in our time. He is our time saver. He redeems time, bringing His strength and beauty of efficiency into our divine purposes and assignments. We need His perspective so we can cooperate with Him in righteous decision making. God has ultimate solutions for us that bring victory in His promises to us. His perfect solutions invite us to trust Him, submit to His ways above our own, build our faith, and impact other people's lives. Godly decision-making is purpose to know Him more, make Him known more, and release our divine destiny in the process. In this, God will work out our victory salvation, helping us to walk out His redemption for our lives here on earth. As we remain close to Him, we cannot lose. Hearing from God, patiently trusting Him, and acting out of His wisdom are necessary for right decision-making. Proverbs 2 verses 6 through 9 tell us that wisdom is a gift from a generous God, and every word He speaks is full of revelation and becomes a fountain of understanding within you. For the Lord has a hidden storehouse of wisdom made accessible to His godly ones. He becomes your personal bodyguard as you follow His ways, protecting and guarding you as you choose what is right. Then you will discover all that is just, proper, and fair, and be empowered to make the right decisions as you walk into your destiny. Wholehearted obedience is another key factor. Joshua had many decisions to make as he and his troops warred to take dominion in the Promised Land. He had to take courage and hear unique strategies from God for each battle. He couldn't lean on his own understanding. He had to hear from God and trust his perfect faithfulness implicitly each step of the way. Just like God provided daily manna for the Israelites in the desert that was good for only a single day, so too was Joshua dependent upon God for daily life in resistant territory. Life was extended to him and his troops as he listened and carefully obeyed. In this, God developed great trust of heart and courage in Joshua as his prime leader. Likewise, God offers us newness of life as we progress with him, even as he prunes dead things from us that were once good in past seasons but that will not serve us well forward. When we do it God's way and give Him our disappointments, He gives us His divine appointments. Proverbs 28 verse 25 tells us, To make rash, hasty decisions shows that you are not trusting the Lord. But when you rely totally on God, you will still act carefully and prudently. Avoiding mistakes can save us time, pain, and even life at the outset. Proverbs 21 verse 5 says that brilliant ideas pay off and bring you prosperity, but hasty, impatient decisions will only lead to financial loss. Still, even in this, God can use our hard-learned lessons to reveal His truth develop us in character, and give us a mercy testimony of His goodness when we circle back to Him. His grace is enough. Here are some points to consider as we make godly decisions forward in this new season. Prioritize God as most valuable and honorable in regards to heart, time, and task. Keep hope anchored in Him as a firm foundation. Intentionally choose to operate in faith, not fear. Ask Him to reveal His timeline and way 
in specific assignments and tasks. Yes, count the cost of decisions, which can help bring clarity, but be conscious not to overanalyze. Pray unceasingly and follow his lead, even if it doesn't make sense to us. Expect God's best, even if it comes in ways and through people we don't expect. When we make decisions God's way, we will surely walk in victory. We will break through to another level when we trust God and receive and act on His invitation to come up higher with Him. So pray with me if you will. Dear Lord, thank you for drawing my heart into understanding as I listen to you. Teach me how to make good decisions and give me revelation light. For I believe in your commands. Thank you for growing me in your wisdom that empowers me to make right decisions. Help me to honor you in all my decision making as I constantly seek your kingdom and righteousness. Thank you for giving me all I need. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.